The westerly winds, also known as the westerlies, occur at two regions on Earth, between 30 and 60 degrees latitude in the northern hemisphere and between 30 and 60 degrees latitude in the southern hemisphere. The name of these unique winds comes from the direction of their origin, the westerlies run west to east while other winds run east to west. Essentially, the air around the equator rises as it heats up. This upward motion causes the cooler air at higher altitudes to be moved to the previously mentioned latitudes. This circulating air causes the air at lower altitudes in this higher latitudinal range to also move. The difference in speed between these two types of air is what is felt on the surface of the Earth. Meteorologists report that the westerlies have higher speeds and more force during the winter season which in the Northern Hemisphere is from December to February and in the Southern Hemisphere is from June to August. This distinction is due to the air pressure over the poles during the winter. Lower pressure means stronger westerly winds. When these winds move over land areas, the direction is changed and moves in more of a north-south pattern. This directional change means the westerlies are slowed down significantly over land. The opposite is true over water, where the westerlies may reach higher speeds. This action means that the westerly winds tend to move at greater speeds in the southern hemisphere, where there is less land area than the northern hemisphere. Characteristics of westerlies They blow in the middle latitudes, between 35 and 65 degrees latitude. They blow from the subtropical high pressure belts towards subpolar low pressure belts. The winds blow from the southwest in the northern hemisphere and from the northwest in the southern hemisphere. The westerlies of the southern hemisphere are more robust and constant than the westerlies of the northern hemisphere. They play an important role in carrying the warm, equatorial waters and winds to the western coasts of continents.